guys and welcome to today's video. Um, it's kind of been an old school week when it comes to my videos, like the last one I did was just a vlog. And today I'm just going to be doing a very chilled bake with the least video. We're going to be making oat cookies with chocolate. So it's kind of a double cookie that you make and then you put chocolate between them and like put them together and they, they taste so good. I've made them before in my old apartment. It worked out so well, so cross your fingers that they're going to be good again today because I want to bring some of them to a dinner party tonight. So yeah, let's get started. I've put a camera back there as well, just so that I can change from one camera to another when I want to show you some of this down here. But I think we should get started. Yeah, so I have my recipe here. And the first thing we need to do is to take butter and oats and mix them together and then we're gonna let them um, let like the oats soak the butter for 10 minutes so that's gonna be easy let's do that then 100 grams of butter I'm considering if, if I should make like a double portion should I make it double okay we're gonna do that so 200 I just have to remember that we're making double then. And 200 grams of oats. And so, when you put that together, we're now gonna let the oats soak for 10 minutes. So while we're waiting for that, we can just well mix the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna need. So I'm gonna do that in the orange bowl. And what we need here is, we are gonna need sugar, 300 grams. That's a lot of sugar. I know that we're making double portion, but still 300 grams of sugar. There we go. Then we need two eggs. We're gonna save that for later. That's gonna be easier just to put in as the last thing. And then we need we need baking powder. One teaspoon, two teaspoons. One, two. And then we need flour. And it says that we only need one teaspoon, so that means two teaspoons because we're making a double portion. Let's see how that's gonna go. Maybe I'm gonna add some more. I'm gonna take three, and maybe I'm gonna add some more. Let's see. So that was about one minute or two minutes, so we're gonna have to wait for eight more minutes until we can put these two things together. Good, so that was about ten minutes. It now looks like this, it looks pretty much the same, but the oats have just been soaking some of the, the, the butter and yeah, that's it. So now we're going to mix it with the rest of our things and then put in eggs as well. I think we're going to put in eggs at first, so we need two eggs. Oish. There we go. Just going to clean my hands. Now we're going to mix the rest of the ingredients from the orange bowl to the purple one. The dough now looks like this. I think it looks good and it smells good. So that's nice. I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to let the oats soak some more of all the fluid things that's in there. And while it's doing that, I'm going to be melting the chocolate that we need to put together two biscuits. So, I've bought some chocolate and I don't know how much I'm gonna need to, um, to melt. So, maybe we should just start with one package. There is like 100 grams in one of them. Maybe I should just melt two. 
I don't know. We need a pot. So I think I'm going to melt two packages, so 200 grams. And it's by the way milk chocolate that I'm using, but you can use dark chocolate if that's what you prefer. I actually think the cookies or the cakes in the supermarkets, I think that's dark chocolate. I'm not sure. And I'm gonna put in the chocolate. There we go. Super duper da ba da ba da 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 da. Like I always do. But somewhere in the crowd is you. I was actually practicing on my ukulele last night at like 1 a.m. at night. Um, I hope this like building is pretty sound isolated because it's pretty like loud when I play but I hope I didn't annoy anyone. This is starting to look really good like I can see that the oats have been soaking a lot of like the the egg and the what did I else put in? The butter, <laughs> the butter. So that's good, it looks good but I don't, I still don't know if it's like a bit too thin if I should put in some more um, flour. I don't quite know yet. I think I'm going to be making a tester. I'm going to put a little bit of this in the oven and see how it it acts and then maybe I'm going to put in some more flour. But while we are melting some chocolate you can just spend your time on something because it's going to take some time. So I think while the chocolate is melting, I think we should be making the tester in the oven to see how that's going to go. Um, the oven isn't quite heated yet, but soon it will be. I don't even know how big that should be. I'm just taking a teaspoon and see how that's going to go. How they gonna act in the oven? Like that. That's what we're gonna do. So let's put that into the oven. I think the recipe says for eight to ten minutes. So the chocolate is melting and the cookies are in the oven, so maybe I should just play a tiny bit of ukulele for you guys, even though it's so bad. Like, I haven't played for so long, and it's really, I've gone so bad, but maybe just a tiny bit. I can just play some of the things that I was practicing last night um, for you guys, so I'm just going to get my ukulele. Okay, so this is what I was playing last night. Um, it's called About You Now. And it's a pretty famous pop song that I knew pretty well and then it just came up on Spotify and I decided to just try and play it. So let's see. No laughing. All support and love, right guys? <clears throat> and also my voice is still a bit gone because I've been sick for two weeks. Can we bring yesterday back around? open a window. This is not good. <laughs> that 
That was bad. So damn bad. Need to throw that out and try one more time and maybe we should turn down the oven because this is a very aggressive oven so I'm gonna put it on 150, 150. So let's throw this away. Oh my god. I've just put some new testers in the oven and now I'm gonna look at them and watch over them as a hawk. So no more playing ukulele while we're baking guys. That was not a good idea of mine. Oops. Can we bring yesterday back around? Cause I know how I feel about you now And I was done and I was wrong I let you down But I know how I feel about you now Don't you worry, I'm still paying attention <laughs> I'm not doing the same mistake again Bought myself a cocktail today. Thought I wanted to drink some of that. Now I'm thirsty. Oh, I should have shaken it, shouldn't I? I should have shaked it. I didn't. Is that bad? Doesn't that look quite normal? I don't know. Oh, that's all of the colour there. There we go. Mmm. <sighs> Can we bring yesterday back around? The weather is so good now. It's really lovely, but it keeps changing, so. Oh, my mom called me. But maybe I should wait till I've taken out the cakes. They look quite different from the last time I was making these. So I've just turned back up the oven from 150 to about 165 um, because it's it's just too slow. This is too slow. So I think our test tests are close to be done. They look good. This worked out. That is how they are supposed to look. They're done now. So the test has worked out fine as long as I'm not playing ukulele while I am trying to bake them in the oven on 200 degrees celsius. So now I'm going to take them off and put them on this for them to just get a bit colder so we can put chocolate on them and put them together two and two. Okay, maybe they are too thin. So I've made the decision to just put in a tiny bit extra flour. And it's only like a couple of teaspoons. It's not a lot. I think I'm going to put in three, no, two and a half teaspoon extra. So I'll just make some more now and put them in the oven. There we go, I'm back into the oven. So let me show you how these are gonna be in the end. I'm gonna like take two and put them together like this. So they need to be pretty like matching in size and form, and they do. So what I do is that I put, I take some chocolate and put it on this side. It's like on the flat side that I put chocolate on. And you decide how much chocolate you like, what kind of chocolate, all of those details. And then you put them together like that. And then you need to have them, um, let them cold down, cool down for the chocolate to like put the cookie together as one. And they seriously taste amazing. So I'm going to do that on this one as well. I think this is a good match. And I seriously promise you that they taste amazing. And then I go, they're going to be like so good when I'm finished with all of them. 
So I'm gonna finish all of them and then just give you an update in the end, have a taste and just see how they, how the results are gonna be. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish all of this and give you an update on it. So yep, continue. I'll continue. That was it, I'm done baking for today. I think it took me an hour to bake all of these, to put chocolate in them and just finish this. So I think they've turned out so good. Just if you look away from the beginning, that was a bit not so good, not so lucky. I think these have all turned out so well. So let me have a taste. Um, I'm gonna grab one of those who don't look very good so that I can bring some of the good looking ones tonight. But let's have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. I love these. They're so good. Mmm. Yummy. Really enjoy those. But this was actually all for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. Maybe I'm gonna be making a bake with me video again sometime. Um, yeah, I had fun and I'm ready for tonight. I'm ready to be, bring some cakes to this um, dinner. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon with a more like traditional video of mine. So yeah, have an amazing beginning of the new week and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys. Mm-hmm.